So I'm doing a few more things from Marion's book, Fingerprint Art. Ideas for food, for a crocodile. Again, just using the black ink marker. She has all sorts of great ideas. And she has the idea of using cutouts. So you can make a cutout and then use your fingerprint to make the pattern on the cutout, like that. If you have permission to use paints, you can s expand your activity to use, to paint something first with your hand. And my favorite idea, we can make pretty flowers. I didn't do anything pretty. And that I'm gonna try these flowers. And for me, I need to use my pinky finger, I think. Let's see if I have a strong enough color, color palette. And of course, even though you're washing your hands in between, it's smart to, tr if you can plan, you wanna use your lighter colors first Wash your hand and then do the darker color in case there's anything residual on your hand. Let me go back to blue. I traced her giraffe onto a different paper and I cut it out. You might need help with a, from a grown-up doing the cutting, or maybe you're really good at cutting. Huh. And I have a pink paper to put it on, and I have, I think, blue. So I can just use my thumbprint and make spots. It would be smart for me to tape this template down so it doesn't move. And then there was a one last thing I wanted to try from her book. One last thing I want to try is tiger stripes and cutting something out, cutting out a template, and then you can lay the template over your picture. I had to practice a few times to and I could have actually traced from this page a big cat. So let's see if I can make a tiger. So again, this one I have to, I'm gonna fill in the whole stripe. So I don't have to be as neat with my fingerprints because the template, the cutout is what I'm getting. I tried the bigger size. And it can be messy. And don't forget to ask for our March Crafts Kit. There's a few fun activities in there. One is decorating a shamrock with the tissue paper that's provided. It's called a scrunchy shamrock. You provide it with a pencil and the tissues, you will need to provide the glue. And you're just going to put the tissue on the end of the pencil, rub the glue, or you can even put the glue straight on. And so have fun with these activities and call us for a kit 510-620-6557. And we'll see you next time.